Hey guys, my name is Simone. This is Simone Says, where I make videos about my student lifestyle and lessons that I learned as I learned them. And today was a very productive day. Very productive. So let's take it back to this morning, shall we? <laughs> Good morning guys, it is, what is the date? Today is October 24th. It is 9.40 at this point. Um, I like to, <clears throat> not the voice crack. I like to get up in the morning and literally make the first thing that I do be cleaning. Just because if I get my day started and I haven't already cleaned, I'm not gonna clean anything at all throughout the day other than maybe wash the dishes and clean the kitchen. So I just finished my little morning routine-ish kind of thing, bed spread teeth brush so i'm about to go to the gym and when i go to the gym i don't typically do skincare because it doesn't make sense what i like to do though is i wash my face off just to get off any of the excess oils from the night before and then i go in with my my sunscreen um because i'm gonna go outside to go to the gym so i want to make sure that i'm spf'd up <laughs> that was not on purpose but I like to make sure that I have sunscreen on and this one is very moisturizing so it kind of replaces a moisturizer. And my lips are mad dry so I'm just going to use some of my e.l.f. Ride or Die lip balm because dry lips is a distraction. Okay, so time to get dressed. Okay guys, so I don't think I said good morning in the last tip, but good morning. Um, I'm all dressed and ready to go to the gym. Nothing crazy. I'm about to put on a sweater because outside is cold. I have my water here. I like to make sure I brush my teeth before I drink some water. So I'm gonna drink some water. I think I might want some C4 today. I think, I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I want some C4. Well, here we go. Thanks, Dave. Okay guys, so this is the Cellucor C4, the original explosive pre-workout in the icy blue Raz flavor. But I don't use this often and I don't use a whole scoop. I'm not making that mistake again. So I'm just gonna use like half a scoop. And people, some people do the little like, put it in your mouth and throw it back. I ain't gonna be that one. I am not gonna be throwing enough back. Oh, that's a little more than six, but oh well. This way, by the time I get to the gym, it will have kicked in and I'll be all tingly and ready to go. So I'm gonna get ready. plans um, I got all the way to the gym and I'm like why am I about to be in a gym where I have to wear my mask and basically inhale the mask throughout my entire treadmill workout when I can just choose an empty parking lot and do my little skipping rope workout so I walked all the way back I'm mad because I wasted the time but I'm just gonna grab my skipping rope I'm, I'm gonna go outside into a parking lot and do my little jump rope I call it skipping rope my little skipping rope um, routine <laughs> I do have a story for you guys so after I came in and got my skipping rope I told myself I literally said to myself I'm going to go because you know I'm talking to you guys but realistically I'm talking to myself but I said that I was gonna go to an empty parking lot choose an empty parking lot so you know I get my skipping rope go outside get into the parking lot and I see like an old man just fixing his car. Like he was under the hood of the car or under like the underneath of the car. And I saw him there and I'm like, oh, I should go to a different parking lot. And I'm like, 
uh, he's just fixing his car. It will be fine. It's not a big deal. So I just start my little workout and he comes from underneath the car and he looks over at me and I just say good morning. But I already have my headphones on so I cannot hear if he responds. I can't hear how loud I am. So I don't know if he didn't hear me or what, but he just keeps on walking. From that, the entire encounter was just weird. Like every single time he would get up from underneath his car and walk towards like, I guess his, I don't know, he walked somewhere. He would like, when I say, stare like he was staring at me not even like it wasn't even subtle it wasn't like a little side eye it was like guys it was so creepy and i just tried to like kept, i kept on trying to like ignore it and like just keep on with my jump rope you can feel somebody looking at you and every single time i would look up and look over at him because i felt like he was staring at me he was staring at me i don't know if he knew me maybe that's what it was and i just didn't recognize him because i don't i couldn't see him like my vision is it's not bad but like faces are a little bit blurred at a little bit of a distance so maybe he knew me or he thought he knew me he was just trying to figure out if it was the person that he knew maybe that's what it was but it was either way it was creepy and so i literally like instead of running away i literally like took my skipping rope and like really quickly skipped away and then i just found somewhere else to finish my workout it was just 15 minutes i did my little workout my legs i could feel it already they're gonna be burning tomorrow you guys can see the sweat i'm drenched i'm like sweating so hard i have my little waist sweat belt on right now um but i'm starving so i'm actually gonna go and make breakfast first I should shower first. Okay, I'm gonna shower first and then I'm gonna make breakfast. I should have I should have just listened to what I said. Go to an empty parking lot. When you tell yourself something, go with your gut. This is not your gut. Go with your gut, okay? Okay guys, so I just finished showering. I really quickly wanted to show you guys my current skincare routine. I just picked up this from Target yesterday. This is what I've been washing my face with. This is the Noxzema Classic Clean. This is like OG kind of stuff. And then I decided to like try this again because my mask is giving me so much acne. Like big, huge bumps that were not invited to the party and i'm just like okay so i decided to try this it also has um eucalyptus extract which i love in this one it's so good it just makes my face feel all tingly and then when i wash it off my face feels so soft and then i also got the cleansing pads to go with it so i also like that my current skincare routine is basically just some ordinary products this is the niacinamide and zinc and the plant derived squalene squalene whatever and then i use my um cerave um, SA lotion for rough and bumpy skin. That used to be my problem, but um, ever since I started using this, I never had that problem anymore, as well as some other things that I was doing. So I love that moisturizer. And then of course, we gotta go in with some more sunscreen. You guys saw me put this on earlier when I went, when I was going to work out. And if you guys noticed, there was no like dripping. It wasn't like separating or anything on my skin when I came back from the gym or came back from working out. So I really love this sunscreen. So I'm gonna just put all this on. And now it's time to moisturize my skin and guys I have been loving this let me show you so if you guys can see it's almost done this is the shea body butter by mahogany glow in the lavender and peppermint scent this stuff guys when I say my skin is moisturized I don't know if you guys seen a picture that I posted if you follow me on Instagram you probably have seen the picture my skin my collarbone this this and as you can see it's basically almost done I had to take a break from using it because I've had this for a while so I had to take a break from using it because I was using it every single day and it's basically done I didn't need to use it every single day because when I put this on one it's not greasy and it goes on like butter especially after I shave I make sure to put this on because it leaves my skin so nice and soft for days like when I say my skin feels soft it literally is so moisturizing it's non greasy which is important because I hate whenever I put something on my skin and then I would put on my clothes and then the grease from the Vaseline would be on my clothes that doesn't happen with this so this is a black owned company so make sure that you guys check them out I'll leave the information in the description box down below they also have this butter in different sizes they also have a grapefruit flavor and they sell face mist so make sure you guys check them out 
um go on their instagram check out their instagram make sure you leave a comment let them know that i sent you this is not sponsored or anything like that just really really love this body butter so i'm gonna go moisturize my skin and then we'll be back okay guys so usually i have a protein shake after my workouts but on days where i want protein waffles i don't make my protein shake because it's the same two scoops of protein so i'm going to show you guys how i made my protein waffles i found this recipe online a few weeks ago and when i say i'm hooked i make it almost every single day and it makes six or seven waffles so they're pancakes but i put them in my waffle maker that i got from target that i talked about and i believe in my in my morning routine video um, it was like 10 bucks from Target I use it every single morning I love it um, so I'm gonna make some waffles I'm gonna show you guys how I do it you're gonna need some kind of like cooking spray my waffle maker thingy of course two bowls baking powder and salt cinnamon I like to use nutmeg I also like to use vanilla these are not in the recipe I'll also make sure to link the recipe in the description box down below that way you guys can follow it for yourself but it makes pancakes originally I just make it into waffles so if you guys don't have a waffle maker you guys can still make the pancakes so I'm not gonna lie to you guys this process does take some time but I'm telling you it's so worth it it, it is a quite a few steps I'm not gonna lie it's a little extra for some waffles but it's so good it lasts two days and I just really love it so you want to separate the eggs oh it's separated ah. and what I like to do is do this part first so what you want to do is add a banana I like to keep my bananas in a container I literally just peel them and keep them in the container that way they don't go bad so banana is cut then you want to add some cinnamon it tells you how much cinnamon to add but I just add as much as I want and then I add a little bit of nutmeg I add like a third of the cap of vanilla this vanilla is actually um this vanilla is actually from Canada my mom sent it over for me because the prices for vanilla out here is just ridiculous I think this whole bottle is less than the bottle of vanilla that they sell here at ShopRite and the bottle of vanilla at ShopRite is like as big as this cinnamon so you can see the size difference I like to like mash it up just to get it started so just to make it a little easier on myself I'll put it in uh, my blender cup and blend it up that way I don't have to sit here and mix it all together for like 10 minutes not too long just whoopsies and then I just scoop it back into the bowl with a spatula So I also use the Cellucor Way Sport Complete Performance um, Protein Powder. So this is in the vanilla flavor. It has 18 servings. Um, it says 30 grams of protein, so I'm like, yes. Um, so I'm gonna use two scoops. It tells you how much protein powder to use on the site. And then I just like mix it in. But I've, I love making these pancakes or these waffles for breakfast, especially after a workout. I've been trying to get back in the gym for weeks and it's like, as soon as school gets hard, you guys know I drop the gym or drop working out, which I hate because I actually love working out. And it's about like finding a workout that I like to do. So I remembered that I love skipping. So I picked that back up again, made myself a little bit of a workout routine and I've been loving doing my little jump rope skipping routine ever since. Um, I had a little bit of squats, a little bit of lunges, a little bit of like standing workouts and I got myself a whole entire routine, 15 minutes outside, um, but as soon as the weather starts to get cold, I'm going to have to start doing it in the gym or probably switch it up to something else. But just being consistent in the gym is kind of something I'm also working towards. So hopefully I can actually be consistent as I want to be. But that's basically what it looks like when it is done. That's the consistency. So the next part is the hard part. So I'm going to have to whip these egg whites by hand. It takes about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to watch some YouTube and whip the egg whites and then we'll be back. want to like fold it in not really like mix it in it's like thick Oh wow, that's never happened. 
of course when I decide to vlog this this is what happens okay cool that is literally never happened never cute see there you go there you go baby so I'm gonna pour the milk in first This, you guys, is breakfast. But it's time for me to start studying. One thing that I like to do is I like to time block and especially on days when I'm like a little bit more busy. I like time blocking because it kind of gives me an idea of what I'm going to do in the day and when I need to do it by. I'll do like a midday check-in and see if I'm on schedule with what I need to do and kind of just readjust from there. So my whole day is planned out with different times on it just to give myself an idea on what to, I need to do at each given time of the day and just kind of keep me motivated and keep me going. You ever get to a point in the day where you, it's like three or four o'clock and you're just like, what have I done with my day? I feel like I've just wasted the entire day. This kind of just ensures that I never ever feel like that because I will often feel like I've kind of wasted my entire day. So kind of planning out my day beforehand and then giving myself a certain time limit to do things allows me to stay motivated to do what I need to do and then also be able to look back on my day and see what I did with the day. I'm gonna use the Pomodoro Technique because I have a test on Tuesday and I really, 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 really need to concentrate. So I like to use the Pomodoro Technique whenever I do this. Okay guys, so that is everything that I can possibly need for this little study session. Guys, I couldn't do it. I was getting really bored and frustrated and I couldn't concentrate long enough to type out my notes. So I'm like, you know what? Change of scenery, I'm still in my house, but a change of scenery is a change of scenery. So I think that it is time to do something fun. One thing that I have said in one of my previous vlogs is that whenever I'm using the Pomodoro Technique, I try to make sure that the break that I'm going to give myself is something that is fun, something that I can look forward to to keep me motivated throughout the lecture. I've been working on this lecture for two hours and I've only gotten one hour done. I still have one hour left, but I just, I feel like I need a break. So I'm going to take a break um, because like I said in my like two videos ago it's okay to take breaks so i don't know if you guys have realized let me take these headphones off i don't know if you guys have realized but my hair is not actually done none of my ends are done and that is because i planned on doing a reel i made a few months back i made a second instagram account i'll leave the name on the screen this is where i kind of just make content of surrounding my natural hair um, protective styles wash day um, products that I've tried and all that kind of stuff um, I'm on my stories a lot I may not post a lot of pictures but I'm on my stories a lot as much as a student can be but today I want to make a reel for that account and it's gonna be to that sound that goes um please don't be ugly please don't be ugly please please and then it's like oh my gosh so my idea for the reel is to cut these braids into like a bob cut i've always wanted like a bob like style so i'm gonna try it but guys i really don't know how this is gonna turn out because i've never tried it before um, i'm gonna put you guys are gonna see how i'm gonna do it so if you guys are not already following me over there you can follow me on my main account as well as my hair account and if you guys do follow me, just let me know in the comment section. Just like, be like coming from the vlog. Um, if you guys are liking the video so far, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. Uh, and comment down below. Comment down below if you are hydrated, motivated, or minding your business. Or if you're doing all three. Um, so I'm gonna go get ready to do that. Okay guys, so now is around the time when I will switch positions, but I'm so sore from my workout this morning. A lot of squats, a lot of lunges. So I'm gonna stay in my couch and try and finish this lecture as well as the other one that I have to do, procrastination.
Okay guys, I can't even lie to you. I definitely didn't get everything that I wanted to get done today in terms of the lectures that I wanted to study. I have one more lecture left and I am determined to finish it because tomorrow I really just want to like get into the information and just study it. Um, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you plan to do a certain thing in the day and it takes longer than the time that you allotted for yourself. So I'm going to be spending more time on this lecture. Can you sense my excitement? But I'm actually hungry and I have some leftover salmon. Um, so I'm gonna make dinner. Okay guys, so it's a little late, <laughs> I must admit. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I can't even lie to you guys, dinner was definitely not hitting, but it's okay, because I have dessert. This is a strawberry cheesecake danish that I made a few nights ago. It tastes so good, so good. Um, but I'm gonna make sure I leave the link in the description box down below, as well as any modifications that I may have made to make this. But this is dessert and I'm so excited. Okay guys, so I'm just going to end the vlog here. I basically, I'm just gonna finish the night with um, that last lecture that I was supposed to do for the day as well as edit this vlog. I need to, I need to stay consistent guys. I've been consistent for the past five weeks. Um, in order for this video to go up on Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern. I need to edit the rough cut tonight. I say this in almost all of my videos, but I am actually, I'm trying to have a nine to seven work day. I'm really working towards it because getting to 11 o'clock at night and still feeling like I have to do more work is not the greatest feeling. So I really just want to get to a point where I can like feel like I can end the night at seven o'clock and feel like I've had enough done in the day. I really hope you guys like this vlog. This is probably gonna be a very, very long one. If you guys don't mind the length of the video, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comment section down below, as well as make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell button next to it. Make sure that the notifications are set to all notification, not personalized. That way you will not miss any videos from me. And until next time, guys, stay hydrated. And as you can see, my bottle is basically empty. I finally reached my goal. I drank a gallon of water in a day. I drink a lot of different kinds of drinks. So drinking a gallon of water is a little hard for me, but I did it today. I did it. Stay hydrated, stay motivated, and mind your business. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bon appetit. If only my night was actually done. So much better.